Hello AP Calculus. I figured to help you guys out since we're going to be uh, hit pretty hard with the AP exam uh, with the laying in comp one and then also I'm not even going to be in class Wednesday because I have to do park again. I figured I would just flip cylindrical shells. be a lot easier than you guys trying to figure out the notes on your own. Um, it'll be a quick video. We'll try to do this as fast as possible. So um, it'll be great. So cylindrical shells um, this is all about an alternative to the disc washer method. Um, basically, it's going to get us the same result, just be a different procedure, though. So the idea behind the cylindrical shell is that we're going to use uh, 2 pi times the radius times the height, 2 pi r times the height, um, which is going to be uh, a cylinder. And we're going to integrate that. And um, the 2 pi is always going to be removed from the integral. So 2 pi is always a constant. So anytime you're using the shell method, you're going to remove the 2 pi from the integral. All right, this radius right here is always going to be x or y. Um, it, it depends on whether you're going to do a, um, a horizontal or a vertical cylinder. We'll talk a little bit about that more later. But in general, um, it's always going to be the variable x or y. That's it. Okay, and the height is the function. So this is when the actual function comes into play. All right, okay. Things are a little different with the shell method, and I'll try to be clear about how. The first thing is we're going to do this around the x-axis first. And if we do it around the x-axis, we're actually going to use y as our variable. All right? We're going to use y as our variable. So a problem done about the x-axis with the shell method is going to look a little something like this. 2 pi, y is the radius because we're going to use the variable y. And then the function value evaluated at y which is usually, you know, given to you by the curve. And then the dy, of course, which, uh, <coughs> which represents our thickness, okay? Now, here's an example of something done with the shell method. The region bounded by the curve y equals square root x, the x-axis, and the line x equals 4 is revolved about the x-axis to generate a solid. Find the volume of the solid. So these, um, these pictures right here kind of demonstrate what we're doing. The first thing here is just the region, uh, x squared, and um, they're going to dissect the region. So first off, we have the radius, which is why you can always see it's just going to be a variable. It's going to be x or it's going to be y, um, depending on what we're doing. And then this right here is going to represent the thickness of the shell. That's the dy. And the function itself is going to represent the height of the shell. And to get a three-dimensional picture of what's happening, here's our cylinder that we're building after we reflect this thing or revolve it around the x-axis. So it starts off just like that curve. And we're going to take this chunk right here, and we're going to revolve it um, to make that three-dimensional cylinder. Okay? Um, this is an example of a shell problem done out, the one we just looked at. <coughs> uh, 2 y, 2 pi, <coughs> excuse me, 2 pi times y times 4 minus y squared. And that's the function, that's the, the problem we just looked at. And then um, just using a little fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, get the answer to be 8 pi. Um, this particular problem is not one of the, uh, the one interesting ones. Shell method about the y-axis. <coughs> All right, this is a little different now. We're going about the y-axis. We're actually going to use a variable of x. Okay, we're going to use a variable of x. So same formula, 2 pi radius, in this case, is going to be x. Height, in this case, is going to be f of x. And um, got the integral 2 pi x, f of x, oops, f of x dx. And um, that's basically that. And again, here's just a quick problem done out. Um, it's 2 pi x, and then the function is the root x, so it's the same problem as the last one, just uh, using the y-axis. And then uh, just a little integration, and you get, uh, you get an answer that looks a little something like that. Okay? This document right here is online. All right? It's on X2, so you guys can print it out if you need it, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight for you the differences between disc washer and shell. Disc and washer, you slice the figure perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Shell method, you slice the figure parallel to the axis of rotation. So that's one of the biggest differences between shell method versus disc and washer. All right, it's also outlined right here if you're using a horizontal slice, which is about the x-axis. That's what we just talked about. Equations need to be in the form x equals, and all your variables, your bounds, everything like that is y. In a vertical slice, it's the exact opposite. You're going to find the shell height f of x, and um, and find the radius x. Uh, and everything's going to be like that. So, you know, going back, it's, it's very different from the washer and the disc method, which we sliced perpendicular. In an x-axis vertical slice, everything was in terms of x. 
and a y-axis slice everything gets each other with y. So it kind of flip-flops with the shell method. All right, um, let's do out <coughs> a couple of problems. So this all is online, you can look at it later. Here's a good one. Revolve the region bounded by y equals x and y equals x squared uh, about the y-axis using the shell method. So let's first just get rid of all this stuff. Let's just put it right over there. Let's not hide the problem though. There we go. So we use y equals x and y equals x squared. Um, pretty easy curves to graph. Uh, let's just do a quick sketch right here. Uh, x and x squared, so we'll start off here. Uh, we'll use blue for x, just a linear function going right through the origin. Um, <clears throat> and then the, the quadratic function is also going through the origin. And it looks a little something like this. Now, I make my slope steep enough there. Just make that like that. And then we'll just add this. So it's pretty clear as to the region we're going to have to find the volume of. We'll just kind of do it right in green here. It's this region right here. Okay? Now this problem could be done using disk and washer, but let's practice uh, using shell. So the very first thing is we're going to do this about the y-axis. Now for doing it about the y-axis, the y-axis is a vertical line. We're going to slice this thing vertically. All right, You're going to slice parallel to the axis of rotation. So I'll do a nice bright yellow slice right here. Okay. Also, if we're doing a, <coughs> a vertical rectangle, um, all of our variables in this problem are going to be um, x, x variables. So let's see. Let's see if I can set it up. These are actually really easy to do. This is the origin. And this, this intersection is 1, 1. So that's really easy. Um, so here we go. So the volume is going to equal the integral. Now we're doing um, x, so it's going to be 0 to 1. Not that you could get it wrong because they're, uh, they're identical. And then we're going to do 2 pi. And the radius in this problem, since we're doing the vertical, is going to be x. Now you've got to figure out <coughs> the shell height. Well, the shell height is just going to be uh, the linear function minus the quadratic function. It's very similar to the area problems, top minus bottom, dx for the shell thickness. Okay? So um, the first thing I would always do when you're doing a shell problem is pull the 2 pi out of the integral. You got integral 0 to 1. Let's distribute this. Uh, this is x squared minus x cubed dx. And now we can just fundamental theorem of calculus it. It's 2 pi uh, antiderivative x squared and antiderivative of uh, x cubed. 0 to 1. Uh, and then we can just plug it in. We'll save the 2 pi for later. Let's um, plug in 1 first of all. So it'll just be 2 pi. And this right here is going to be 1 cubed, which is 1, divided by 3 is just a third. And same thing over here, it's just going to be a fourth. And um, so we're going to get an answer of pi over 6. Alright, so this represents <coughs> the, um, the uh, volume of the region had we rotated this about the, um, the y-axis. Okay, so just note the differences between shell and washer. Alright, so pause this and, uh, and jot down that solution. So let's have a little fun. Let's go and do the same problem with disk and washer. And let's compare the two, okay? Um, so let me get rid of this again. Okay, so let's do this with a disk and a washer. So let's see. Let's draw the same picture. Boom, boom. We got linear in blue. We got quadratic in red. We got a region in green. And let's do a disk washer. So this is pretty good. Um, we're going to revolve this thing around the y-axis. So it's very clear it's going to be a washer because we have all this area here that's wasted. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a picture. So here's my washer. Got to have the washer thickness. Okay. So you got to figure out little r and you got to figure out big r. Okay. So <coughs> should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get a slice in here. Y-axis is going to be a horizontal slice. Starting from the axis of rotation, first we get to the linear curve. So the linear curve is going to be um, this little r. But the problem is, remember, we're slicing this thing horizontally. So we're going to use the y. 
Okay, everything's in terms of y with a horizontal slice. So little r is going to be y. Big R is just from the axis of rotation to the end of the uh, accumulation of area, which is the quadratic curve. Now that quadratic curve, y equals x squared, breaks down to x equals plus or minus root y. And the right side of the curve is the positive root. So that means that big R is just going to be root y. So the area of the circle, factor out a pi, square, square root y, get y, square y, and get y squared. And then we just integrate that thing. Again, easy um, points of intersection, just 0, 0, 1, 1. So I think we're ready to integrate. So volume equals integral from 0 to 1 of y minus y squared dy. Um, and then again, we're just going to fundamentally take the calculus. This is pi. This is antiderivative of y. This is antiderivative of y squared from 0 to 1, plug into 1, got a half minus a third, and you get an answer of, lo and behold, pi over 6. So you get the same thing, um, whether you use disk washer or, uh, or shell. Alright, so it's kind of an interesting process. Let's do one more. Um, let's do this one. Uh, revolve the region bounded by y equals x squared, y equals 0, x equals 2 about the x-axis. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, so first off, it looks like we've got x squared, 0, and 2. Let's throw them all in a graph together. Let's do vertical line 2. Uh, we'll do the quadratic first. So y equals x squared is just going to be this guy. I don't really even need to draw the left branch for this particular problem. Um, and x equals 2 is just going to be this guy right here. Okay? And then... Um, Last but not least, y equals zero. That's obviously the axis. We don't need to draw that. I think we're ready. Let's get our area in here. This is what we're trying to flip. And um, well, let's use shell. So let's use shell. Here we go. Uh, trying to flip this thing about the x-axis, okay? So x-axis, our axis of rotation, our slice is going to be parallel to that. It means we're going to use a horizontal. It means all of our variables in this particular problem are going to be y's, okay? So let's set this up. First off, let's find this, um, this point of intersection. Um, the x value is 2 because of the horizontal function, or the vertical function, rather, so 2 squared is 4. So 2 comma 4, let's do it. Volume equals integral. Now we're doing y, so it's going to be 0 to, uh, we're doing y, 0 to 4. So it's going to be 2 pi, and this is just a y. And then we have our function right here. Well, if we look, it looks like the top function is going to be the, or the right function, rather, is going to be the 2. The left function is going to be the square. So it's going to be um, 2 minus root y, because we have to have it in terms of y. And then we add our thickness. Should be ready to integrate. So that height was just right minus left. I think we're ready. So volume equals 2 pi integral 0 to 4. Uh, let's distribute the y. So we got y times 2 is 2y y times negative square root y, which is really y to the one half, is just going to turn into negative y to the three halves, adding exponents. All right, then we just uh, get a solution here. Let's anti-differentiate. So the antiderivative of uh, 2y is just going to be y squared minus um, three halves plus one is five halves, so it would be two-fifths y to the five halves. Uh, and this is evaluated from zero to four. So then you just uh, compute, so let's see, it'd be 2 pi times uh, 4 squared is 16, and then um, 4 to the 5 halves times 2 fifths is just 12.8. Don't need to do the second one because it would just be 0. So this all works out to um, 6.4 pi, or 32 over 5 pi. Either answer there is acceptable. Okay? Um, so that's them. You got the three problems right here, here, and here, and then um, take a look at the notes as well. I'll post those online, this, uh, this whole document, and then, of course, the disk washer versus shell document will also be online. All right? Great.